when we look at these two archers, we're definitely going to be seeing, you know, Jamie's level of, of experience and just tremendous talent honed over many, many years of practice on the archery field against the best shooters in the world versus somebody who's who's showing the potential to be a serious rising star in this sport. And Van Atta starts with a nine towards the left side of the target. Dolly Crook. And she met, is able to get a 10. Jamie's Good start for Dahlia Crook. Very Dahlia's solid. And as you said, one of the younger archers in this tournament. Fearless almost has nothing to lose here. Solid 10 for Jamie right in the middle of the, the target, the right on the X. Or you should say in, in the innermost ring there. And a 9. We are even up at 19 after two arrows. These two archers really could be very closely matched for this, for this uh, final here. And another excellent shot from Van Natta. Very solid. Crook to try and match that, and Ooh, just missed it. Just out. And the nine for Dahlia. So Dahlia Crook, so 28 goal. points. So a solid round, solid end for both of our competitors here in the gold medal match. Jamie Van Natta with 29 points to Dahlia Crooks, 28. And again, we still have plenty more archery action throughout the day. We'll have the men's compound competition coming up after this, starting with the semifinals, followed by the women's and men's recurve competition. We're glad that you've joined us here on archery.org. And we've talked a lot about our archers, Jamie Van Natta. I'm Jamie Venata, and I am from Toledo, Ohio. Actually, what was going through my head when I was shooting today was really just to make good shots. It was a real challenge yesterday with the wind, and um, we had some weather, so it was uh, really today was all about remembering how to shoot um, quickly and without all those distractions. So I was really pleased we had a we had an unbelievable afternoon actually with very little wind, and it, and it was uh, overcast but not rainy too much. So. Um, I felt really good about my shots and I felt really good that um, they went off like they should. I got started in archery when I was 12. Uh, my dad picked it up. We uh, grew up in Michigan, so in the wintertime uh, he couldn't golf, so he chose archery as something to do in the wintertime. And uh, I thought it looked really cool, and so he, instruct he put me in an instructional league at Oakland County Sportsman's Club. And uh, I just took to it right away, and I haven't ever stopped since. Uh, I don't have a motto per se, but I do have some, some words to live by, I guess. Um, and it's attributed to Aristotle, but it may or may not actually have been him. Basically, it, it's, it, it's um, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, therefore, is not an act, but a habit. Um, I didn't do anything particularly special to prepare for this tournament. Um, 50 meters is the tournament that I shoot most often, so uh, there wasn't any special preparation. And I came directly from a very different kind of tournament in Germany. I only had about a day and a half to switch over to back to feet of mind. Um, the tournament in Germany was um, very intense angles and, and um, not the style of shooting at all. So uh, it was actually kind of nice to break up and not, not do my usual routine. Um, when I'm shooting a difficult tournament or a match, um, I focus on my mental program. I have a series of words that I say um, for each and every shot, and I know that if I say those words and they match the feelings in my body the same way, then I'm shooting my consistent shot. So that's always what I fall back on is those, that mental program, those words. Um, well, something I'd like people to know about me is um, that I really love what I do. I think this sport is the best thing that's ever happened to me, and I do love sharing my knowledge of the sport, and I love sharing it. I, I coach five kids now, and uh, that's been a real big highlight of my career, actually. So I've really enjoyed everything that I've done in this sport, and I want to keep doing it. One of the top archers in the world certainly has a lot on her resume, as she has won many medals across archery competition comes from Toledo, Ohio a one time number one women's compound archer and going for gold here once again in the US Open facing off against Dahlia Crook who hails from Kansas and was fourth place in the Indoor World Cup here in 2015 and it's really amazing to see this matchup because Jamie's, Jamie's shooting resume spans multiple pages on on the website of World Archery, which is our 
our International Federation. Um, you literally can see three pages of World Cup, World Championship, and World Ranking Event experience, which does not even necessarily list out her, her several world records separately. She's just got an incredible resume. And so you've got Dahlia, who, whose first and, and only international finish has been her finish at the Indoor World Cup this year. And so to see her getting to this level so quickly is is really something to, to witness. And Dahlia Crook starts off with a nine. Again, if you are trailing going into an end, you will shoot first, which is why Dahlia is shooting first here in the second end, down 29-28. And at his first shot in the second end. Also a nine. Nine from uh, JB Van Nettem, looking solid. Dahlia Crook with her second shot. Another nine. Jamie Van Etta lining up for second shot. And that one very close. And it looks like that one just missed for being 10 points. So there's a little bit of an opportunity for Dahlia to make up a point here. Ooh, and that one's a mm. tough shot right on the 7-8 line. That Nine should be scored at 8. So Van Natta with an opportunity to add to her lead. And that one's close. That looked like it's just touched that 10. And a 10 -nine line for the last we'll get the official scoring in just a moment. At the very least, Jamie Van Natta has picked up a point and maybe two on Dahlia Crook after the second end. And we're in Decatur, Alabama, which is the home of the 2015 U.S. Open in archery. We're in the gold medal match here in the female compound competition at the senior level. And the seniors level actually encompasses a wide age group. What does, what are all the different age groups here in these competitions? So in the U.S. National Target Championships, we have adult competitors, which in archery, target archery is referred to the senior division. And that really can be an archer of any age. Any archer who is younger can, as we said earlier, shoot up as a senior, which means to jump up a division as or two, as Dahlia has done. So Dahlia is shooting as an adult, but she's actually uh, 15 years old, which would put her squarely in the youth, uh, in our cadet division, which is a youth division for 15 to 17 year olds. So in the in an adult competition like the U.S. Open, we have senior competitors. We also have age categories for masters archers who are 50 plus, 60 plus, and 70 plus years old. And those masters archers actually competed in the U.S. National Target Championships this week. In the youth divisions, uh, in the Junior Olympic Archery Development Tournament that's happening this week, the Easton Joad Nationals, you have four age divisions. Bowman, which are through the age of their 10th, um, the excuse me, 12th birthday. You have Cubs, who are through the year of their 14th birthday. Cadets, through the year of their 17th birthday. And Juniors, through the year of their 20th birthday. And so several, several different age divisions. Here. Officially scored 56 to 54 for Van Atta. So Crook will shoot once again. Dahlia lining up the target to start the third end. Picks up a nine. Dahlia training 56 54 at the beginning. Jamie Van Atta shooting a 147 in the semifinal match against Lexi Keller. Or against Sarah Lance, I beg your pardon. And Jamie is an archer who's, when we talk about tremendous experience, just to quantify that, she has over 35 World Cup medals in team and individual events. That's a pretty significant track record, and that does not include her finishes in uh, World Championship events and other key international events in her many, many domestic titles. So when we say that Jamie has a wealth of experience... Jamie Van Natta answering with an X on the second arrow. 
And for Dahlia to be holding her own in this match versus somebody so incredibly talented does speak to the potential that Dahlia has as, as an athlete. Dahlia finishing the end with 28 points. And so does Van Etta. She also collects a nine. nine so oh, a close match here through three ends. And as you said, it speaks to the potential of Dahlia Crook as so far this match has lived up to the expectations. One of the most talented archers in the world and Jamie Van Adden, an up-and-comer and Dahlia Crook. And she's just two points off the pace as we head into the fourth end, setting up for some great shots here in these final two ends. What a tremendous experience for Dahlia, not, not just in terms of being in this particular finals venue to, to reach the finals of the U.S. Open, at just 15 years old, which is a significant accomplishment in itself. But but to be shooting at this level versus a competitor who is so incredibly talented and experienced sometimes when your competitor is one of the best in the world, that can be something that can really work for you and, and maybe fuel you and inspire you to be better. But for some athletes, it can put pressure on them and that can you know potentially be a negative. So it's interesting to see how just how well uh, both of these athletes are, are holding their own in this match, which is very, very close, just three points two with two ends to go. Well, it appears that they've adjusted the scoring a little bit. Jamie Van Atta now at the three-point edge, so she gained a point in that third end, but still very close for Dahlia Crook as she is within striking distance. Right now the wind has died down a little bit. Here for this gold medal match. Dahlia Crook Dahlia with their first shot. Two points. Begins this end. Yeah, it looks like she got 10 points with the 10. right along the top of the ring. And at his response, picks up a 9. So Dahlia that's a good start for Dahlia Crook. Hoping to pick up another 10 here. Also collects a 9. So these archers actually have the ability to adjust their sights, which are their aiming devices. Basically, they're centering that, that circle or that pin right in the middle of their target, typically. And they have the ability to move that sight to compensate for high, low, left, or right arrows. And so sometimes that's a real choice for the archer to make to decide if, if it's time for a sight change or if it's wind that's affecting their shot or, or what that is. And that judgment can be a real part of that can really play into the archer's final score and how they're performing. Right now, 28-19 for Crook as Van Atta lines up her final shot of the fourth end. Picks up a nine. So they're tied Ooh. in that end. And still a three-point advantage for Jamie Van Atta as we head to the fifth and final end. So still a chance for Dahlia Crook to try and snatch the gold medal away from Jamie Van Atta. She's in the driver's seat right now. They'll take a look at the arrows. But right now we have this scored as 113-110 for Jamie Van Natta. So certainly a lot of intrigue as we head into this fifth and final end as Dahlia Crook does have an opportunity to at least force a one-arrow shoot-off. And we haven't seen that yet, but that's one of the more exciting moments in sports. If we are tied after five ends, it goes down to one arrow. Explain those rules a little bit, Teresa. Sure thing. So in compound shooting, uh, as we've been seeing, archers shoot three three arrow ends, and the scores are cumulative, which means the total of, of each of those ends is added together for a total of five ends. So the archer with the highest score out of 150 points after five ends would win the match. However, particularly in compound archery, we see you know shooting it in, in, in recurve as well, but we see shooting at a very high level where archers can force a tie, meaning that they've both shot the same total. And so if, if the match ties, the both archers will shoot, each archer will shoot one arrow, and that's called a, a one-arrow shoot-off, and the arrow that's closest to the center wins the match. And that can make for some real excitement, uh, not just for the archers themselves, because it certainly puts a lot of pressure on the archers, but also is, is tremendously exciting for fans and spectators. And again, that happened in the quarterfinal match between Jamie Van Natta and Kaylee Johnston. That went to a one-arrow shoot-off with Van Natta capturing. That went over Johnston as she was able to get it inside the 10 range to Johnston's 9. 
So there's a little bit of pressure on Dahlia right now. She really wants to win this match, and, and that first 10 really, really uh, puts, maybe puts a little bit of pressure on her opponent. Dahlia is, has definitely got the pressure on, though, if she wants to force a tie. She's got to really gain a little bit of ground on Jamie in this final end. And, and that, that's a good start. It is. That Jamie, unfortunately, uh, for Jamie, she just dropped dropped one out, and so she's she's a point down in this particular end. Dahlia with a 10. Another solid 10 for Dahlia. Now the pressure on Van Natta a little bit. Pressure and wind, you know, and that certainly when you have ideal conditions, while there's no such thing as certainty in, in any type of archery, uh, I, you know, really calm conditions can make the outcome a little more certain, but with this wind, it's definitely anybody's game. Ooh, Dahlia dropped one just out to the to the left side, low left side of the nine there, so it'll be interesting to see what Jamie puts up on the board. And she's got it. Gold medal for Jamie Van Natta. And silver for Dahlia Crook. So unofficially, Jamie Van Natta has picked up the gold medal. Adds to her treasure trove of trophies. And, and that must be... I don't know whether Jamie maybe has a room in, in her house devoted to her many trophies and medals, but this is one archer who certainly has, has earned that in a very lengthy career. And yet Jamie, I believe, is just, if I'm not mistaken, Jamie is just 37 years old, and I, I could be wrong about that number, but... And she is, in fact, 37. Birth date of March 31st, 1978. So that's quite a career for somebody who of that age. Just just tremendously strong shooting from Jamie today, but especially from Dahlia. You know, and we've just seen I think fantastic shooting from all of these compound women who who competed today, and they're officially calling and that match for Jamie Van Natta. Ladies and gentlemen, the first gold medal winner of the So she's our first gold medal winner of the afternoon as she wins the. Female Seniors Compound competition over Dahlia Crook. A score of 143 to 139. An excellent semifinal round in which she was three points short of a perfect score. And this time she's able to fend off a challenge from the talented youngster Dahlia Crook. 143-139. Excellent match between these two to kick off our U.S. Open afternoon here in Decatur, Alabama.